Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Goose Island Beer Company. This is their Bourbon County brand stout. This is the 2022 version. I've been holding on to two bottles of these since last year. I did have this version last year. I am very much Looking forward to getting into it now. I figured, come on, if this is gonna be a, a month of stouts and dark malty beers and Trappist beers, I had to at least do this. All right, I apologize, I'm a little sweated. I'm in the middle of building my own computer right now. I'm a little flustered and I'm like, yeah, you know what? This will be perfect for that. All right, so what else can I tell you? The original bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, drink by August 3rd of 2027, so we are in good shape. This comes in at 14.3% ABV. Enjoy in the snifter. I could at least do that and don't have a, a Goose Island uh, glass, unfortunately. Uh, Untap says this year our Imperial Stout is aged and blended from freshly em emptied bourbon barrels from Heaven Hill, Four Roses, Wild Turkey, and Buffalo Trace Distilleries. So, let's get into it. Yeah, I only had this once before, and that was last year. Last year was my first time, so I'm super excited to, uh, get into this again. And I had it around, uh, actually, it was on Christmas Eve when I had it last year. Pouring out like motor oil. Whew, smell it from here. So that is primarily black in color. I have a little bit of brown right at the bottom here where the light kind of can just reach. Pour it out with half a finger of, I'm gonna say Mocha Rocky. Nah, Soap Sudsy Head. I'll give you a good look of it there. You can see the carbonation in there as well. Very nice looking. <clears throat> All right, let's get a nose on her. So I'm definitely getting like dark fruits, like I'm definitely raisin. And then I'm getting like sweet molasses the the oak from the barrels definitely comes through I'm getting a bit of almond as well this has been sitting out of my fridge probably for the last maybe 15 minutes so it warmed up a little bit so it should kind of be just perfect right now Slight booziness on that when I, you know, covered it up. But yeah, definitely getting a touch of almond, definitely chocolate notes. And when I say chocolate, I'm also getting vanilla as well. But to me, primarily what stands out is uh, the raisin and the uh, barrel aged notes uh definitely getting some oak barrel and some of the booze from the uh, actual barrels and bourbon wow yeah major alcohol legs on that one major alcohol legs very pretty very pretty I'm diving in cheers Mm. 
that's smooth, creamy mouthfeel. To me, I'm gonna say that's uh, full, that that's thick. Not crazy super thick, but it's it's definitely thick, slightly syrupy. Raisin, definitely getting that raisin note on this for sure. Followed by kind of as the nose was like the raisin followed by the the oak barrels with the hints of you know the bourbon there getting chocolate but also like roastiness as well and i would say halfway through to almost the finish like i'm getting uh, vanilla notes to it as well and almond it, like just hit right on the finish there that's interesting I actually get okay so I'm, I'm getting the raisin I'm getting the, the the bourbon the oak then I quick get uh, chocolate and almond then the almond goes away, I'm getting some vanilla, and then that almond comes back on the finish. I'm hoping to get my hands on this again this year, the 2023 version, and I'm hoping to hold on to the 22 version for a while. I also have the 2021 version. Uh, and an earlier version from that, I think I missed a year, so I, I don't know if it was the 2019, I forget, I'd have to go check. Yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> Just, I'm kind of speechless now at this point. I don't know if I said molasses on the flavor either. That's definitely uh, midway through the palate. A nice sweet molasses. Again, not overly sweet by any means, but uh, oh, there goes my Alexa. <laughs> not an overly sweet um, molasses by any means, but it, it complements the roastiness of the stout very well, the oak barrel, uh, bourbon aged notes. Yeah, this should help calm my nerves while I go back to uh, building that computer. <laughs> like trying to plug all these cables in, making sure I'm putting them in the right ports and my head's shoved in there. I've never done it before. Anyway, that's not why you're here. So, all right. Goose Island, their Bourbon County brand stout, their 2022 version and variant. I mean, it, it's damn good. Um, it's kind of hard to... <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give this a 4.65. It, it's it's really good. Uh, there are certain aspects. Uh, there are other stouts out there that I actually, believe it or not, do like more than this. Um, but it's definitely way up there for me. Definitely probably one of my top five favorite stouts. So that's all for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. I know some of you out there have had this before. Tell me what you thought of it, uh, whether it was the 2022 version or any of the previous versions. And what was your favorite uh, year for this specifically? And I've never been able to get my hands on the variants. Let me know what your favorite variant was as well. Till next time, peace.